friends welcome to english study point today here in this video lecture i am going to discuss with you about monica ali who is most important south asian writer now in this video lecture i am talking about or discussing with you about all her important major facts related to her different different novels that she published during her lifetime so monica ali was born on 20th october 1967 and she is a bangladeshi born writer as well as a novelist so she is by profession a writer as well as a novelist and in the year 2003 she was finalized as best of young british novelist by grantha magazine and she started her literary career by publishing a novel that is brick lane that this particular work was shortlisted for the men booker prize and was adapted as a 2007 film of the same title now important fact related to her fifth novel is that which is love marriage this particular work of hers became an instant sunday times best seller let me tell you about sunday times best seller it is a kind of list or you can say sales chart which is most oldest as well as influential in uk and every author wants to make appear their names on this particular list so you can assess that how important this particular list plays important role in the lives of author so this particular novel by uh, monica ali that is love marriage uh, appeared in this particular list that is sunday times best seller now i am discussing mo about monica ali's first novel that is debut considered as debut novel which is brick lane and this particular work a novel was published by her in the year 2003 so brick lane is name of a street which is situated in london so this street comprises of so many people who migrated from bangladesh and situated uh, here in this particular street that is brick lane and also this uh, brick lane Uh, sort of tries to uh, create an emotional bond so bangladeshi people have emotional bond with this particular street that is brick lane so a street at the heart of london's bangladeshi community so we describe this brick lane as a kind of street which is so close or so uh, hold so much em uh, emotional connection with people belonging from bangladeshi community so uh, this community um, when migrated to london so the people started living or settling here at this particular place and it constitutes the majority of the bangladeshi immigrants now uh, this in this particular novel monica ali describes about experience of a female character whose name is nazneen and this particular character uh, moved to london at the age of 18 because she married to an older man who is twice her age and his name is chanu please remember this so in this novel she uh, uh, monica ali tries to de uh, describes about nazneen's as well as chanu's settlement in this street that is brick lane so nazneen is a bangladeshi woman who moves to london at the age of 18 to marry an older man chanu and they both settled in london in a place which is tower hamlets so this particular place that is tower hamlets is situated in london and tower hamlets is not a single area it occupies or it unites so many other districts in london so union of so many districts union of so many districts of london together called as tower hamlets and uh, when she uh, got shifted or settled at this particular place that is brick lane she has to face a challenge of speaking english and 
at the initial days of her settlement in this place called tower hamlets she is only able to speak few little words of english that is sorry as well as thank you so she is able to uh, say only this to others sorry as well as thank you but later on her uh, skills got improved and she is able to better converse with others so this particular novel is a kind of exploration which tries to talk about nazneen's as well as chanu's life and their adaptations in the community which is situated in brick lane and not only this particular work tries to talk about or explore about their experiences but also it tries to explore about uh, uh, experiences of so many people who belongs from bangladesh she community so their larger ethnic community so it describes about mainly two characters life first one is nazneen and another one is chanu and as a whole this particular novel tries to talk about a uh, larger ethnic community and their adaptation into this particular as well as adjustment into the street that is brick lane and also this work covers experiences of nazneen sisters hasina as well and uh, so many critics uh, when they read this particular novel so they try to look this particular novel from their own perspective and from their own perspective they try to build their opinion so one of the critic uh, who read this particular work said that people some people thought that ali had negatively portrayed people from the silhar division as they constitute the majority of the bangladeshi immigrant living in the brick lane community so this was a kind of criticism which was put forward by one of the critic major critic who read this particular work that is brick lane so people i, I am repeating this again that uh, people thought that ali had negatively portrayed people from the silhat division as they constitute the majority of the bangladeshi immigrant living in the brick lane community so maybe she is trying to describe about the challenges that people from bangladeshi community uh, faced when they settled in this particular uh, place that is brick lane so they face so many challenges first of all how to speak english with others as well as how to converse with them frankly with them so this uh, particular novel is all about adjustments of larger ethnic uh, community to whom nazneen as well as channu is a part of then this particular uh, novel won men booker prize and also this novel provoked controversy within the bangladeshi community in britain as i have already told you that some people uh, develop opinion regarding this particular novel that uh, ali here in, by writing this particular work she is trying to negatively portray people from the silhat community and as well as try to bring into limelight the kind of challenges that people from this community face when they settled here at this particular place that is brick lane which is a street situated in london and this particular uh, street comprises of so many bangladeshi people and also we see that this uh, novel got adapted into film with the same title then in the kitchen this particular novel by monica ali was published in the year 2009 so this particular novel mainly focuses on one character that is gabriel lightfoot and he is an ambitious man from an old northern english mill town and he is by profession an in, uh, executive chef at the imperial hotel in london and he was assigned a task to make his adjustment with other cooks in hotel so maybe he must have to manage an unruly but talented group of immigrant cooks there and also he is aiming to please the hotel new owner
सो दिस पर्टिकुलर नॉवल ट्राइज टू डिपिक्ट अबाउट गैब्रियल लाइट फुट एडजस्टमेंट विद अदर कुक्स एज वेल एज ही मेक्स एफर्ट्स एज वेल एज एंडेवर्स टू प्लीज द होटल न्यू ओनर सो इम्पीरियल होटल्स न्यू ओनर एंड वन डे सडनली ही मेट ही गॉट अ न्यूज दैट वन होटल वर्कर टर्न्स अप डेड इन द किचन बेसमेंट सो दिस पर्टिक्युलर सिचुएशन और इवेंट tries to create a sort of emotional disbalance in the life of Gabriel when he heard about this particular news that a hotel worker turns up dead in the kitchen basement and this particular news tries to create a sort of emotional disbalance in the life of Gabriel then Gabriel meets Lena this particular woman she is also a young a migrant and uh, this uh, character whose name is lena she holds mysterious ties to the dead men and maybe this particular girl whose name is lena she tries to influence gabriel in some way and gabriel also got influenced after listening to lena's opinions and then Gabriel decides to take a decision and after uh, he undertakes that particular decision so he got successful and that uh, decision changes his whole life so this work is about all this so i am a little bit repeating again that uh, this particular character whose name is Gabriel he um, meets Lena who is a young migrant and this particular girl lena holds a mysterious ties to the dead men and lena when when gabriel encountered lena so lena tried to influence gabriel in some way and gabriel then tries to take some decision regarding his life and that uh, decision became successful and this decision changes gabriel's whole life so this is how lena influence gabriel so this particular work in the kitchen is mainly about gabriel lightfoot now so this particular work that is novel that is untold story published by monica ali in the year 2011 and this novel describes about princess diana who arranged her own disappearance means that she tries to conceal herself from this world and she is not able to come uh, out in the uh, and she does not want to display herself to the public and she tries to live an undiscovered life in a small american town so this particular work uh, novel that is untold story describe about princess diana's decision of her own disappearance and she wants to live an undiscovered life she tries to conceal herself hide herself from this world she does not want to or she does not prefer to make her appearance uh, in front of whole world she tries to live undiscovered in a small american town now now this work that is love marriage this particular novel that is love marriage was monica ali's fifth novel and described in the times cultural section as a literary love story please uh, remember this important fact related to this particular novel that is love marriage uh, so this particular work described in the times culture section as a literary love story and setting is in london of this particular novel is in london uh, which revolves around the year 2016 to 17 and this particular novel mainly talks about two characters whose name is yasmin ghorani as well as joe sangster so it uh, tries to tell the story of yasmin ghorani a 26 year old junior doctor who is engaged to be married to a fellow do- uh, doctor whose name is joe sangster so uh, this particular novel is based on 
लव मैरिज ऑफ टू पर्टिकुलर करेक्टर्स हुज नेम इज़ यशमीन घोरानी हु इज़ ट्वेंटी सिक्स ईयर ओल्ड एंड शी डिसाइड्स टू एंगेज एज वेल एज टू बी मैरिड टू अ फेलो डॉक्टर हुज नेम इज़ जो सेंगस्टर एंड एज आई हैव ऑलरेडी सेड यू दैट दिस पर्टिकुलर नॉवल अपियर्ड इन अ लिस्ट ऑफ संडे टाइम्स बेस्ट सेलर एंड संडे टाइम्स बेस्ट सेलर इज यूनाइटेड किंगडम्स मोस्ट ओल्डेस्ट एज वेल एज मोस्ट इन्फ्लुएंशल बुक एंड एवरी ऑथर वॉन्ट्स टू बी ऑन टू मेक देयर नेम अपियर ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर लिस्ट दैट इज ऑफ संडे टाइम्स बेस्ट सेलर नाउ आई एम डिस्कसिंग अबाउट हर वर्कस इन क्रोनोलॉजी दैट शी पब्लिश ड्यूरिंग हर लाइफ टाइम सो हर डेब्यूट नॉवल वॉज ब्रिक लेन दिस पर्टिकुलर नॉवल वॉज पब्लिश इन द इयर टू थाउजेंड एंड थ्री देन अनदर वर्क इज द वीकेंडर्स एडवेंचर्स इन कैलकटा दिस वॉज अ काइंड ऑफ शॉर्ट स्टोरी विच वॉज पब्लिश बाई हर इन द ईयर टू थाउजेंड एंड फोर देन अनदर वन इज फ्री एक्सप्रेशन इज नो ऑफेंस is an essay published in the year 2005 then another work published by her was allegento blue published in the year 2006 then in the kitchen published in the year 2009 then untold story published in the year 2011 then last uh, novel which is considered as her fifth novel was love marriage now here with this this particular video lecture ends here hope this video lecture will help you in your ugc net english literature exam